Hi, thanks for joining me. This is the fourth video for the Lulu Roses Quilt Along. And what we're about to do is square up our blocks. And these are not really squares any longer because we've attached our um, rectangle strip to our square, but that's still the term that it's called. And so what we're gonna take is um, our ruler here. And I wanna tell you before we get started that be very careful about how much you trim off because if you trim too much, then um, your quilt, your seams are actually not going to line up very well. So if you come to um, one that is really, really, really off, um, you might actually want to get your seam ripper out and take it apart and start over. Um, most of mine, though, it's just because I cut my strip longer, and so it's not too short over here. So if you get um, a block that... It's short on one side and goes over on the other. Get your seam ripper out and, and uh, start over, okay? So let's get this back over here. And what we're going to do is take our ruler and we're going to position just one of the lines on our seam right here. And I can't see very well because uh, I would have to put my head in the camera. Um, you can actually get a better view than I can, but I can see there's just a tad of fabric over here on the right side. So I'm just going to go down this right side. And I'm going to show you how much I trimmed. That is, it's crazy. It's just a little teeny tiny amount. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to, again, line up one of these lines on the ruler and just go down this side and trim off anything that's extra. And again, that's, that's how much, which is not that much, but it's still kind of important because you want your um, quilt to look really nice and you want your seams to line up. So then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to show you one more, and then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, this one is seriously crooked. And this is probably one of those that um, I may have been sewing at night, or who knows. Let me turn it over. Okay. Last one. I'm going to show you how much I trim off. So this one had a little bit more. And then now you can see it. Okay? See how nice and clean that is? So I'm going to do that to the rest of these and I'll be back. Okay? Okay, so I've got all of my rectangles squared up. So we're ready to start sewing. So now what we're going to do, this is going to be, um, we're going to start pinning. And so this is the top of my quilt. We're gonna sew our rows vertically, okay? So this is the top, and then we're gonna sew this one right sides together. So we're gonna attach it to this piece right here, and I'm going to pin it. So we're gonna take these to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew those together. Now, remember, we saved one from every one of our patterns. This is going to be our last one that we attach at the very end. So I'm going to take that, put it at the end, and now I'm going to get my sewing machine. And I'm probably not going to pin these. So when you see me at the sewing machine, you may not see the pins. Okay? Okay, so now we are about to sew our first row together. So I'm going to take my very top piece. Remember that there's no rectangle up here. And what we're going to do is place this right side together. I'm making sure I'm lining this up. You can pin it if you prefer. I just want to make sure that I haven't moved it and that I'm not pulling it. Okay. 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is open this up. And again, remember, this is the top. Okay. So this is the next piece. I'm going to take the next one, place it right sides together, and then repeat that same thing. I am sewing with a quarter inch seam. Making sure I'm keeping it lined up. Okay, same thing. Take this one. I'm going to attach the next piece right sides together. Now, while I'm going to sew this one, or while I'm sewing this one, I'm going to explain the next step. So, I am going to sew all of my rows together. These are my vertical rows. And then, once I do that, then we're going to add our sashing. So, I'm not going to make you wait. I'm going to go ahead and film that next step so that that way um, you don't have to wait on me because I know some of you are uh, much further along and you're ready to get going. So I'm going to pause for just a second, get this first row done, and then we will add our sashing. Okay? Okay, so we are here at the very end, and now we're going to take our final block and we are going to sew it on here. So same thing, we're just going to line it up and sew a quarter inch seam. Okay, so this is our entire first row. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take our first piece of sashing and we're going to attach it to this and we're going to sew it. So let me grab that. Okay, so if you remember, our sashing consists of two jelly roll strips sewn together and here is the center. So what I like to do, and I probably should have sew, uh, moved my sewing machine, uh, but I'm not going to. <laughs> We're going to make this work. We're going to plug along here. So what I like to do is actually line up the seam of the jelly roll with a seam here on my row. So what I've done is I'm placing this together and here is a seam. So I'm going to pin that. Okay. And I hope that you can see this. So I'm lining this up, both of those seams together, and I'm going to pin it. Then what I'm going to do is pin all the way to the right. Now I didn't pin my squares because I was confident that I was going to be able to sew them and not get off track. I am not confident when it comes to sewing the jelly roll strips because they stretch. Um, so I am going to pin them probably every square, um, so not a lot, but enough that it will keep me straight. So like I said, I'm pinning all the way to the right. Now you're going to have extra. What we're going to do is sew this on, and then after we sew it on, we will cut that off when we've made sure that we've sewn it correctly. Uh, sometimes I've found that if I cut it early, then when I get to the very end, it's a little short. So now I've pinned to the right. Now I'm going to pin to the left. And the same thing, it's going to be um, a little bit long uh, at the beginning. But we will trim that once we've sewn it. I should put my pins a little bit closer to myself. I want you guys to see all of this so that you're you're comfortable doing it yourself. Just a couple more pins. And I'm going to pause the video and 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 confirm that 
I was in the camera before I start sewing, so you will see a pause again. Okay, the last pin. See how this is the very beginning? But it's important that we lined up those seams. Okay, so I'll be back in just a second, and we're going to sew a quarter inch seam. Okay? Okay, so we are ready to sew our sashing onto our first row. So I'm going to take out that first pin, line this up. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. start up here at the top. And I'm going to sew all the way to the end. You may want to stop occasionally and just make sure that nothing's moved or shifted. Okay, so now if we open this up, we can look, we can see, I should say, that we have our very first row with its sashing. So now what we need to do is trim this piece off on the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to move the camera and I'll be back. Okay, so what we're going to do now is trim off this extra sashing that we have here. So I'm just going to make sure that I lay it flat. You can see all my extra thread there. My bobbin ran out there towards the end so I've got some extra thread I need to cut off. And so now what I'm going to do is just line up my um, ruler with the edge there. <laughs> oh, and hopefully I can see. I'm having a hard time. Let's make sure that all that fabric is out of the way. Okay. I think that's straight. Let's check it. It may be a little long, but that's okay. It'll be fine. We can trim it again. And now we're going to do the same thing up here. So I'm just going to turn it over and line this up okay so now we can see our first row this is the top so this is to the right this is our first row with its piece of sashing so now for your homework, let's cover that real quick and then we'll, we'll stop this video. So now I have to finish my other rows. So what I'll do is, you know, sew each of the blocks to each other. And then when I get my second row done, I'll come in with my next piece of sashing. So the next time you see me, I'm going to have each row done with the sashing added uh, to the right side. And if you guys remember, I went ahead and determined my rows. So this is um, two through seven that I need to finish. Okay, so that wraps up video four. If you have any questions, don't forget to join us on the Chicken Scratch Quilt Along Facebook group. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.